Hey, what's going on you crazy cats? Thanks for watching and welcome back to the channel. Today what we're going to do is install all of this onto my CNC. This is a Pwn CNC dust boot. Let's get into it. Okay, so what we see in front of us is everything that came out of the box whole bunch of parts. I've watched the uh, introduction video for this particular version. This is ver version 7.0 of uh, their dust boot over at Pwn CNC. And what I'll tell you is, is that Dan was uh, the fellow that I spoke with. I believe he's the owner and inventor of this particular dust boot system. Uh, I had a few questions before I ordered the pieces and he was very responsive and super helpful. So uh, that helped a lot to make the decision to go ahead and get this uh, dust boot. I'm gonna see if I can just break it now. Okay, so that looks uh, that looks pretty slick. So mounted to the machine, doing bit changes. Looks like what you're gonna do is just pop that off to have access uh, you know, to your router. So let's put it on. So I thought I would just show you uh, briefly why it is that I have chosen to do this um, with this new model dust boot. First, I'll, I'll tell you that there's absolutely nothing wrong with this one here, it does a fine job, but I run a four inch dust collector straight to um, uh, straight to my CNC machine and this this suck it dust boot is uh, only capable of receiving a two and a half inch uh, hose here so I let me pop this off this was my South Carolina engineering here of how to hold my adapter in place but you'll see that there's a pretty obvious difference between the amount of air that's going to flow between these two dust boots so that was the genesis for why I uh, wanted to make this change. But just pulling off, um, you know, this I'm going to have plenty of room to get under here and uh, make a bit change, which is, uh, you know, fabulous. Um, dust boot's going to go right back on, nice and smooth, and then with these magnet locations here, I should be able to just simply pop that in and I can tell you that feels really firm it's uh, I, don't, I don't think I'm gonna have any problems with that one okay so that'll wrap up the dust test and the function test of the Pwn CNC version 7 dust boot um, and the reason that I chose that dust boot there are many versions that they have available um, is that it had a four inch uh, inlet direct to the head of, of the cutter so whether you're using a spindle uh, or a router um, in, in terms of uh, before I purchased this dust boot, I had some questions and found um, Dan at Pwn CNC was really quick to respond and answer those questions. Uh, the shipping was great and uh, arrived on time. All the parts were there, no damage. So uh, if you're looking for a different solution for your CNC dust boot, um, you might consider Pwn CNC. Thanks so much for watching today. If you feel like I've earned it, Please feel free to hit the uh, like button on this video and uh, please consider subscribing. It'll help get the word out to others who might be also interested um, in, in seeing this content. So thanks very much. Let's get out there and make something.